Hey you guys, happy Sunday. We are, as if you can't tell, in my closet tonight. Um, I was sewing all day, <laughs> all day long. I have this like coat rack full of projects that are half finished. And so today I just sat down for hours and committed to um, just getting a lot of those done. And I'm really excited with all the things I got to put in my closet four projects completely done and then three other projects like 80% done. All I have to do is um, a couple more things to them and I'll be able to add them to my closet soon too. But um, so I just wanted to show you what I did today. A lot of these things are refashions from purchases that I got at Goodwill. So just wanted to show you some things that you can do and some ways that you can um, think about shopping um, the next time you know you're out at Goodwill. You don't have to buy things that are in your size. You don't have to buy things that fit perfectly. With just a few alterations you can make something um, just as fabulous and uh, sometimes even better. Um, so first up is a lovely pair of um, like summery pants. The fabric, the lighting is horrible, but you can see the fabric is like a, a stripe. These were originally from Gap and they were originally like two to three sizes too big. Um, and so all I did was have to, all I had to do was take them in on the sides at the waistband from about the widest part of the hip up to the waistband. Um, and now they fit snug as a bug. And to be honest with you, these are kind of like a really wide leg pant, um, but I kind of like the the relaxed kind of slouchy look of them. I mean, obviously from the hip down, they are still very big, um, but they fit in the hip and they fit through the waist, so it gives the illusion of just kind of like a baggier, relaxed fit, kind of like a boyfriend fit, but with a really wide leg. So I know that these are going to get put to really good use this summer. They're really light, which is nice because here it just gets way too hot to, um, to wear, you know, pants usually, unless they're super, super light. But um, I also picked up these pants from Goodwill too. Um, these are from Ann Taylor Loft. Um, they're a little more wintry. They're like a, a brown tweed. I don't know if you can see that because of the light but kind of like a brown tweed. And opposite from those, these were probably a size a size too small. I mean, I could get them on and get them buttoned, but it was just really snug through the hip area. So all I had to do to fix that was just let out the side seams, each of these side seams, and the back, um, the back seam. That's really all you can do when it comes to letting out pants. And for the most part, uh, most pants are sewn on a quarter inch seam. Yeah, quarter inch seam. So you can get like an eighth of an inch back out of each one of them. So you can really only widen it by a little less than like three quarters of an inch all around. So it's not that much. You can't go from like, you know, a size two to a size six. Like that's just not going to happen. But if they're just a little bit snug, you can definitely let out the side seams, let out the seam in the back, and it'll give you a lot more room. This tends to work better with skirts because there isn't like a crotch area, so there isn't more pulling going on. Um, with skirts, you can maybe go a full size larger, um, but that's really it. So when you're buying pants that are too small, just keep that in mind. Um, you can check any side, any seam allowance um, just by looking on the inside of the pants. So you can see here, there was really not a whole lot of room to work with, you know, only that quarter inch area there. So you can't widen it too much, but these worked for me. These are a great like flat front pant. Um, they have the slit pockets in the back, uh, that were actually never even cut open by the previous owner. So they probably weren't worn too much. Again, kind of like a wider leg, more like a straight, you know, nice pant for work. But, um, but I've only got, you know, 
a couple more weeks at most to wear these. So I wanted to go ahead and get them, um, you know, sized correctly so I could go ahead and get to wearing them, which I'm excited about. Um, the next thing is this great um, Isaac Mizrahi dress. You can tell the top has some beading to it. Um, and it's just a sheath dress, meaning it just goes straight down. It doesn't have a whole lot of curves. Um, there's only one dart in the front, or on each side, obviously, but not like tons of seams. There's no middle seam or anything like that. It's just a straight sheath dress. So these are super, super easy to resize. This one is an extra large. I wear small. And so I was able to get it down just by taking in the side seams here. This one happens to have a back zipper, so I didn't want to mess with that. But if your, your sheath dress doesn't, um, you could always take in from the back as well. But I took in several inches on each side. Um, the armhole is a little large. So if the beading wasn't here, or if I didn't mind taking off some of the beads, you could take it up in the shoulder seam as well. But the wider armhole is kind of um, in style. It's kind of trendy right now to have more of your side showing. Not that it's inappropriate with any side boob or anything like that. But, um, you know, I don't think it looks it's not like a wife beater tank top or anything like hanging down that low. It's still, my bra still is covered and everything else. So, um, you, maybe it's not as low as you, people probably won't even notice, I guess is my point. But like I said, if you had that problem, you could always take it up in the shoulder seams as well. And that would, you know, that would fix the, the armpit problem. Okay. And last, um, save the best for last, last but not least, um, is this little cute peplum top. Now you might be surprised to know that this was originally a dress. Um, it was one of those like bodycon dresses. It looked like when I put it on, it looked like I was a cast member of the Jersey Shore. Not even kidding. Like it looked okay, but it was hoochie mama. It was way too tight, way too short. Not something I would ever, ever, ever wear. So all I did was chop off the skirt part and sew a little peplum top. This um, lace and rhinestone um, uh, Peter Pan collar was already on there. Um, I got this for like $5 on clearance at Ross um, and turned a dress into a cute little knit top. I love the colors of this. It's like blue and black together, which is kind of, um, not something you see all the time. And it has this great keyhole in the back, which is also a nice detail. So, you know, taking some of the work that whoever made this dress, um, mem, mem muse, anyways, um, and, keeping all of that intact and just fixing the bottom, um, is a great way to refashion something that, you know, you only like the top half of. Of course, any dress that you find, you can chop off the bottom and just make a shirt. Um, or, you know, with a slightly more skills, you can, um, you know, make an actual waist with a, um, with a peplum. Um, you could add some pleated, like a pleated skirt or pleated peplum to it if you wanted. This is just a simple gathered one, but the options are really endless whenever you can think outside the box when you're out shopping, you know, head to the clearance section, head to your Goodwill, um, go to those yard sales and look through the clothes in a different way. Think not necessarily like, do I like this as it is, but do I like parts of it? Do I like the fabric? Do I like, you know, a, a Peter Pan detailing, you know, those sort of things. And then think, okay, does this fit me? And if it doesn't fit me, how can I get it to fit me? And if I'm not going to be able to get it to fit fit me? Can I turn it into something else completely? I have taken huge moo, moo dresses and turned them into shorts, turned them into skirts, turned them into handbags, all kinds of stuff. So this is, these are just a few examples of like some of the refashioning that I think is pretty simple to do. You don't need any complicated sewing skills to do it at all. Um, so yeah, that's what I was busy doing today. I can't wait to get the other stuff finished um, so that I can show you guys that too. But um, have a good night. I am hitting the hay. I uh, got a big week ahead of me. So just want to send you all love and kisses and best wishes for a wonderful week as well. Thanks for watching you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.